Rochelle Harrison Plus has more. According to UNESCO, the long-term outlook for the reef has deteriorated from poor to very poor, and that's largely due to three mass bleaching events uh, over the last five years, which wiped out uh, large swathes of coral. Uh, the UN body is urging the government to do more to tackle uh, global, global warming and tackle climate change under the Paris Agreement. Uh, Australia is one of the worst polluters on the planet. Planet, uh, with the country's per capita carbon emissions three times the G20 average. That's according to the Climate Transparency Report. It's widely seen as lagging behind the rest of the world when it comes to tackling global warming. Uh, Canberra has so far refused to commit to net zero greenhouse gas emissions by the year 2050. And based on current trends, researchers say that the country would take more than 300 years to get there. Now, another issue is... Uh, uh, Australia is the world's top exporter of coal. Now, phasing out coal is considered crucial to tackling global heating, but uh, the Australian government is a fervent supporter of the industry uh, due to the role it plays in the economy. Now, Environmentalists say Australia is uh, desperately, uh, desperately needs to lift its game on climate change as it finds itself uh, further isolated on the world stage uh, when it comes to this issue. Prime Minister Scott Morrison, however, says that Australia is meeting and beating its targets. Uh, but for policy experts and campaigners, Australia is just hurtling towards a cliff edge.